On the 9th of March 2011, over 70 organisations came together at Leeds Aspire to have their say on the issues and challenges facing children and young people in the Yorkshire and the Humber. The events set out to the challenging environment that the youth-related organisations are working in, including the Big Society, the Localism Bill and the Public Services Bill. We heard from local authorities, voluntary and community groups and young people from across the region, discussing and exploring the challenges around commissioning and funding and also some fantastic examples of good practice from organisations showcasing their projects. I'm the regional champion um, from the Director of Children's Services um, in Yorkshire and the Humber, so that means that um, anything to do with the voluntary community sector I get asked if I can get involved, so it's something I do quite happily. I actually don't think we can influence central government very much uh, in terms of changing its mind, I think it's, 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 it is what it is, uh, but I think locally what we need to do is work with all the local authorities and the voluntary sector um, and, and having those conversations um, just to say, look, how can we work together? My name is Graham Archer. I uh, work in the Department for Education and I think everybody here is uh, interested in how we can um, improve services for uh, young people in Yorkshire and the Humber, particularly thinking about the voluntary community sector. Uh, and my um, interest is particularly in how government can set the right framework that helps local authorities and voluntary uh, organisations to provide the best possible services, but also to hear from um, people you know, who are delivering those services from young people themselves um, so that I can feed that back into the way uh, government does things. Consortium of Voluntary Sector Organisations that provide services for children, young people and families in Rotherham. There is so much gloom and despondency and negativity, if you like, uh, with good reason, of course, that where there are examples um, of bucking that trend and maybe doing things slightly differently, it's good to share that information. Being true to your values, I think, is really important because I think at the moment when so many organisations are facing the possibility that they you know, might actually cease operating. It's really tough to continue being uh, totally committed to some of your, if I call it, softer values, the ones of empowerment, of going at the pace of, 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 of the people you're working with, rather than trying to produce slick, quick results. The groups that are in the room, the local authorities, the charities, the social enterprises, the central government organisations, all of the educational institutions that are in the room today. You're all making a tremendous difference to the lives of countless thousands of young people and we should all be very proud of you for that. Big's committed to making sure that we continue to work with you on solving those challenges. But we're also very humble and recognise that we won't have all the answers, but rather that the answers are in that room with you today that it's the people who are working on the front line, that it's the people who are working with young people every single day who know the answers to those challenges. We should support them and we should fund them and we should invest in them to make sure that we collectively can make a real difference. Because I know that working together, with bringing all of these groups together and making sure that we have young people at the heart of all that we do, at the heart of our decision making, at the heart of our programmes, at the heart 
of our activities, we will succeed. Participation to part in all organisations, um, I think, especially now with like, the funding cuts, it's important to see the people involved all the way through the organisation, and it's clear that they're involved in, in the management of the organisation, I mean, in the day-to-day -day running. Um, they, they, they know how things should be delivered, how they, how they can envisage the service being provided, and obviously their opinions will make that living to food and respect better. And we wish to the young people across the country and get them to take action against issues that affect them. And we ask them their opinions on things, we get them to speak out and we give them a platform on which to speak. And I think that's something really important because at the moment it seems that a lot of you have put up post-its about um, communication that's really important. And I think it's really great that that's come out of this. Um, and if you want this generation of young people to stand up, step up and give their opinions, then you have to invest in them and in supporting them in the future.